Helicopter, <laughs> drone, all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Martin Berry, take one. My name is Martin, I'm the founder and director of Resites, based in Prague, and I'm from New York. So I'm a landscape architect from Brooklyn, and uh, I was invited here in 2011 as a Fulbright Scholar, and at that time I had not taught at all. So I was uh, trying to engage in, in, in the community and trying to find uh, people who had like minds and, and who wanted to discuss urbanism and landscape architecture as I knew it. And I found people, there were a lot of people sort of latent, uh, latent interest in, in this topic of sort of making public space and, and primarily of trying to improve the environment of building the city. The city of Prague expects to accept about 400,000 new residents over the next 10 years, um, coming from various European cities. Uh, and ultimately those people from different countries have to be integrated. Um, so we need to find housing solutions that are in the center city, transportation solutions that get people to the center city, um, that are better uh, than what we have now. So this, this, is, this is one issue. Um, we also see uh, Prague as, a, as a sort of losing population over the next 10 or 20 years um, and not keeping up with, with growth. So we need to, to try to find a way to attract different types of people people from outside the region, people from outside the Czech Republic uh, to find their way into cities like Prague. So we, we put together a group of people, a kind of consortium, and we, we founded a nonprofit. And, and the idea at that point was really just to kind of do a small event, like a four-hour event about landscape architecture and to raise awareness of that topic, which currently isn't discussed in this part of the world at all in 2011. Um, within five months, we organized a festival, had three conferences, uh, several thousand people. We had like 20 public events, a design competition, uh, and it was somehow a huge surprise uh, for us and, and also um, and for the city. So it, it just sort of happened spontaneously. And over the last three and a half years, I managed it mostly from New York. Um, it, it kept growing. Uh, it kept getting uh, what we think to be more important. And, and we got more and more people um, from the private sector, from the public sector, and from uh, our sector, the civic sector, more interested in this topic. And I think uh, right now we're sort of like talking about issues that are not just relevant for Central Europe, but are relevant for the world at large. I mean, everyone around the world has the problem of collaboration in order to make a better city. So we're talking about this as a natural human phenomenon, right? Like everyone is, is moving to cities to improve their lives. That's ultimately why we're sort of, we're all migrants, we're all human migrants, and immigration is a human phenomenon. It's a natural human phenomenon. I'm a migrant. My family comes from Ireland. I found my, we found ourselves in the United States and in New York. I came to Prague. I went back to New York. I'm back in Prague. Everyone has a similar story, and when you start to ask people, and uh, you know, one of the first questions you ask someone is, "Where are you from?" And and that's like the, that's a human story, and that has spatial implications. Where do you live? How do you get to work? So ultimately, what we're talking about is integration and trying to find housing, transportation, public space solutions, public architecture solutions uh, that integrate people properly, and, and that integrate people in a sort of like 21st century, modern, contemporary, sustainable way. Uh, so that we have a more profitable, sort of more prosperous, equitable city. And, and we see this as like a natural opportunity, right? The, the, you, European cities particularly will not survive if they don't accept new, new immigrants. Um, America, you know, the country, country where I come from, is built on this story. Uh, so this is a human uh, condition, a human phenomenon, and a huge opportunity for cities to take advantage of. Uh, Resite I see is an international platform, and, and it needs to have international ambitions. So we're now attracting, uh, you know, we've had people, I think 350 people from something like 35 countries come through our event um, to speak and to, to participate as experts. Uh, thousands have come through uh, from like 40 countries uh, as sort of participants or, or guests. And, and now what our goal is in the next few years is to expand. So we're working on a project to take us to six countries uh, over the next four years. Uh, we're also exploring opportunities in the Middle East. Um, and ultimately, uh, I think we have ambitions to work around Europe and also in the United States um, to, to talk about topics and, and, to, and to raise awareness of the issues that we care about, which is public space and, and public architecture and ur urban design. All cities, I think, are experiencing similar problems of public participation and, and equity and, and the feeling of not being a, a sort of included in, in the democratic process of city making. 
Uh, so we see a lot of ground up urbanism projects around the world uh, in various cities that really need more voice. So Recite's developing a digital platform right now. And what that is, is basically a, it's, a, it's a digital platform for participation. So people can contribute ideas for projects in the city that will go through a design thinking process. So several stages of iteration and, and design. And at the end, we'll pair a private sector sponsor and public know-how to build that project. Um, so it allows people to participate directly in building their city. Uh, because we're all city builders, we're all city makers. We just need to give people the opportunity to contribute.